Today we're talking to Jamie Gates, a cultural anthropologist at Point Loma Nazarene University. Jamie will be leading our October 5th forum titled The Politics of Race, Class, Gender, and HIV AIDS in South Africa. Jamie, could you tell us a bit about your work and interest in this field? Thank you, Mike. I teach cultural anthropology and African studies at Point Loma Nazarene, and I direct the Center for Justice and Reconciliation. And I just got back this summer uh, from a study abroad trip uh, where we took students on a justice and reconciliation pilgrimage through South Africa, looking at the history of South Africa, looking at how uh, the history of race relations affected uh, contemporary relations, and, the, uh, and in particular the way in which people integrate uh, their um, uh, knowledge about uh, one another into their everyday lives. Um, and so when I read uh, Henry and Lax, and the way in which it brought race and gender and science uh, to the center of the conversation, uh, it made me wonder about, huh, South Africa, what is the most, one of the most pressing questions in South Africa? Uh, what is one of the most pressing questions that South Africans are dealing with that would be instructive to us here in San Diego um, in illuminating some of the complexities of the context in which science operates, right? So, so I thought maybe, um, let's talk about the most pressing social issue in South Africa, which is, of course, HIV AIDS, um, a, a pandemic in South Africa right now. But HIV AIDS is not just a medical issue. It's not just an issue for uh, scientists and doctors to be dealing with. It's, it's something that plays itself out in a highly politicized, uh, gendered, and, 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 and race environment. And so uh, it, it's, I think, exploring the way in the complexities that surround but the prevention, the, the diagnosis, the treatment, the aftercare of AIDS in South Africa um, will be really instructive for, it, it shows a lot of the complex ethical issues involved in trying to do good science, good medicine, and yet good sociology all at the same time. So given what you just described for your interest in South Africa and the links to Henrietta Lacks, be interested in knowing what kinds of ethical questions, maybe what would be the major ethical question you think that we would want to discuss in your in the forum that we joined us for? Sure. I think that uh, if, you, if, um, if you assume that science is, uh, an, is an objective uh, set of activities that happens um, in a vacuum, um, I don't think you'd be here uh, listening to these, uh, these forums. Um, so I'm really interested in the social political environment in which science operates. And so in South Africa, there's been a lot said and a lot of public awareness about um, the questioning of the science behind the connection between HIV and AIDS. Um, very famously, under uh, the former President Thabo Mbeki's um, uh, presidency, his health minister, uh, Shabalela Musimang, um, was quoted regularly as questioning the connection between HIV and AIDS. The scientists around the world, including the UN, uh, came out uh, and, and criticized South Africa. And yet, the, the, her, she was known as Dr. Beetroot. Um, and if you want to know why she was known as Dr. Beetroot, you've got to come uh, to the lecture. Um, but I'll give you a little hint. Um, she, was, she was promoting particular um, natural remedies um, and uh, for the and not necessarily the cure, but for the treatment of HIV over time. And of course, Mbeki was famously known for questioning the uh, connection between HIV and AIDS, the causal connection between HIV. So here we have a situation where science is telling us one thing, and the politics of the day are making it very difficult for that science to be implemented fully across the country. It made it such that for eight years, the policies of South Africa were to withhold the rollout of antiretrovirals, or ARVs, um, and there's a lot of complex ethical questions around the kind of decisions that were made during that process. And there are a lot of anthropological, sociological issues that I think the scientists weren't really paying attention to when they were trying to roll out uh, these kinds of programs. So there's a dialogue to be had here. 